Y'all, Jamie is fried, okay? And, yeah, I don't know if you was jealous or what's going on with you, Jamie, but you doing too much, you know? He walks over to Arena and all of the girls, and Black is there, too. And he said, I know you got this going on, and I'm telling you, I need two hours of your time. Because we're going to be doing these videos, and I need to make myself clear about that. You got that? Girl, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, Jamie, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay at all? Like, who? And Arena, do you take this type of shit, girl? Like, this is crazy. Are you serious? And Arena's like, you don't talk to me like that. He said, you know what? Don't let them size you up. <laughs> Cause all they was like, oh no, you are not talking to me like that. I would not have my husband talking to me. He was like, look, I, I don't even feel like hearing all this. Y'all can leave. Y'all can leave. And that's y'all problem anyway. Y'all talk too much. And tell Alicia, yeah, you can go with them. Go ahead with them. I'm like, damn, he is. Y'all, Jamie, girl, you still living in the sixties or something, girl. You know you'll get back smacked for that. Like you doing way too much. And girl, you need to slow down. Like. You know, you don't want a rainer hiding around the kitchen walls for you, girl, and just come around that thing with a pop. Bam! Like, what the? You lost your goddamn mind. Like, for real? That is crazy to be talking to somebody like that. And knowing, y'all, the camera is there right in front of your face. Like, you are embarrassing this one on candid camera like this, girl. And a rainer was, she looked like she was shocked. But, girl, even if he didn't, let's just say he did it to show old, for one. Let's just say he was playing, bitch. It don't matter if he was playing or not. The people don't know that. And then second of all, even if he was playing, don't play with me like that. Not on national TV. Like, down to the motherfucking TV streets, girl. <laughs> for real, y'all. And I know them comments, they ate you up, Jamie. On Instagram, they ate your ass up this time. You know, and all you need to do when you be reading all them up comments and they up there talking about saying how you are probably all this type of shit they probably call you all type of shit and don't get mad jamie because y'all jamie like to get mad in the comments and everything don't be getting mad jamie you need to just sit there and take it and just look at that shit y'all i don't know jamie probably be laughing because that's that shit that what's his name um marcel used to do he don't give a fuck he don't give a fuck and he will laugh in his head and then like really like had something smart to say out his mouth marceau did the exact same thing and i love saying it because marceau did the most did i feel bad for tisha no because tisha she she knows she went with the bullshit and that's what happened if you go with the bullshit that's on you you understand but marceau gave it to the girls every side y'all he used to have me crying laughing so jamie this is what you need to do when you do some fuck boy shit like this and you embarrassing your wife and acting like you just over top of her and you gonna let her know what she need to do and get her the business then you better be ready because this motherfucking shot's fired now on instagram your ass is in trouble okay and I, they, they gonna eat you up you know what I'm saying may God have mercy on you boy I swear that you did the absolute most the most <laughs> but you know somebody gonna play the butt of the joke you know what I'm saying and I don't know about butt of the joke I gotta renege my own sentence with that because yeah winter is coming for the girls I told y'all that like winter she can run with these girls on Potomac or Atlanta. She don't really need to be on this show. Winter has a mouth. She has a nice, nasty mouth. And these bitches don't really know how to get down like this. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to even fake the funk like I do. I've been in cuss you out real bad. And then you be ready to fight me. Like, I don't know how to sit there and go nice, nasty back and forth with you. But this is what Winter does. And it gets under all they skin because they can't take it and they can't handle it. You know what I'm saying? So... When's the time enough for them and they can keep sitting back, you know, um, trying to take deep at her and doing what they want to her. But on top of that, honey, Sherelle is her shield, okay? And Sherelle got her back and ain't none of y'all bitches going to say nothing or do nothing about it, okay? So let's just move on. So Sherelle lets the girls know, okay? I don't have a problem with Winter. I never had a problem with Winter. On top of that, y'all catch this, okay? Because I don't know if anybody called this. She was like, she works with my husband. You know, on music. Her and, my, her and my husband do music together. Yeah, so that's what's going on with Sherelle. She's watching this chick around her husband, okay? Y'all know it's some females like that. She seems like that type, you know what I'm saying? Very aggressive, you know what I mean? Very over top of him. Very, like, possessive. Like, it just seems like, you know, Sherelle rubs me in that way that she's that way. And, yeah, I think that she's basically watching him in winter, okay? Second of all, okay, I know this to be the case, okay? Because your girls, you know every fucking thing. <laughs> Y'all, but no, I think that, yeah, she is watching Winter because it was at one point, okay, 
This is the problem that Joy had out of Sherelle. One of the problems. That, yeah, Black was dating Joy's friend, okay? And, yeah, Joy's friend and Sherelle started dating at the same time. You understand? He ended up choosing Sherelle. So, you know how that nigga go. He probably can go with the win. You understand? And you probably feel lucky you even got fucking chose, bitch. So, that's the thing. She's trying to watch him. And she's trying to make sure don't nobody get close to her man, okay? And to y'all, this is what happened with some females. They have to watch the man and everything they're doing because they're afraid. You know, I know somebody personally like this and yeah honey you can't even get in her house okay because her man is there so yeah some women y'all just act in this way and this is the way that they are and this is the way they feel like it needs to work for them but yeah won't nobody be coming too close to him because he's mine okay and i'm gonna make sure it stays that way Okay, and this is the vibe that she gives me. She's that type of person, Sherelle. So, yeah, she's she don't really give a fuck what none of these bitches got to say. She's always going to allow Winter to be around her as long as Winter is around her husband. <laughs> okay, that's just what it is. So, all y'all might as well put that shit to bed because she's going to be at my hip, okay? I can make sure that nothing is going on at all times and I got my eye on this bitch, okay? That's just the way that it works. Me, personally, y'all, I don't go like that. I can't be being all up in nobody's face like that. You know, I'm trying to figure out if they doing something. I'm trying to make sure he doesn't. The girl, he going to do what he want to do, okay? Anytime he feel like it. So it's always laughable for me when a female acts in this way. You understand? So it's just how some women are. You know, they've been hurt. They've been through certain things. And, you know, they don't really feel strong in their own skin. So they have to be possessive with the man. And this is just how I see Sherelle. Me personally. Said Alicia actually was laughing at Sherelle's wig. Okay, now y'all, this week, okay, yeah, we could be Afrocentric, okay, we could do all of the things looking like, you know, we going natural, you know what I'm saying, we're going to do the natural human head thing, we're proud of our roots, we're proud of our people, you know, bow to the people, girl, okay, but this damn wig was like so damn big, okay, and it was just like, what the fuck, like, honestly, y'all, to me, it looked good on her, okay, y'all might be thinking, are you serious? Like, but it looked good on her only because she has a really pretty face. I think Sherelle has a really pretty face. You know what I'm saying? And that's what my grandmother said to my mother one time, and I never forget it. And it's true. Ever since she said it, my grandmother was like, told my mother one time, was like, these big girls got some really pretty faces, right? And ever since then, I was like, that's it is true. Y'all think about, look at Lizzo. She got a really pretty face. Y'all, this girl, Sherelle, has a really pretty face. And this wig, yeah, it was busted. You know what I'm saying? It was big as shit. Bitch, how did you even get in the core, girl? Did you get in the core like this, girl? Like, how did you do it, girl? And you wasn't embarrassed in front of your husband, girl. And then you keep wearing it all over the place. Girl, you wore it at y'all little um, podcast thing. Why did you do that? You know, and men ain't gonna say nothing. But I know he was thinking, oh, God, bitch, you got this wig on again. Like, somebody must have told you it it look good. Somebody must have said something, but maybe Alicia told her it look good. And she decided to wear again because that's the type of bitch Alicia is. She probably like, girl, that look good on you. That look real good on you. Go behind your back, be laughing like shit. That's who that bitch is. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm talking my ass off. But anyway, um, yeah, they said that Alicia basically was laughing. Her and Ashley was laughing at Chevrolet's wig, like real bad, like going in on her whole little look with that wig, you know? Hey, everybody, girl, Sassy Sean T. I'm coming back with another video. Yes, honey, back with another one, girl. Y'all get into this seventh episode of Love and Marriage DC. Y'all, I just want to say off the break, um, I'm tired of reviewing this already, you know what I mean? I did not review it last week, and then I think I missed it another week before that. Um, and I almost missed this one too, y'all. I do not like the back and forth. This is why I did not review Potomac Housewives. Because I don't like the back and forth, he say, she say, amongst bitches. You understand? So, I just, I'm tired of doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like always talking about what somebody said about somebody and all this other stuff. I'd rather get into the real life stuff of what's going on in somebody's life. But that is not always the case. I guess this is where we are in reality TV now and somebody always has to be telling somebody else something to relate to somebody else so some shit can get started. You understand? And this is exactly what Raina is in the middle of. And she's just doing her job. You know what I'm saying? So 
for me personally, I'm not against Arena on this episode or any other episode because she's personally, she's just doing her job. She has to relate stuff to the other ladies to get, you know, the situations going and the storylines going. So it's just what it is, y'all. So anyway, y'all, Ashley is having her say that shit even for the girls, okay? To try to get everybody to come together to just form a union to just, you know, be friends and exist. Because we got to work on this show together, okay? Off the break, she asked anybody, do you have any questions? You know, do they want to know anything? Do you have anything to ask? And, yeah, Arena off the break is like, yeah, why is Winter here? You understand? Know Y'all saw that last episode, which I did not review, because that's when it started again with me. Like, these bitches being catty back and forth, and now just keep on writing this shit down in the notes. He said, she said, he said, what the fuck is going on? What's the story? Like, I really don't care if two females don't like each other. You know what I'm saying? And they don't always have to put this in the story. I'm tired of saying it. Anyway, y'all, um, yeah, so we know that, um, I actually had a conversation with Winner last episode and yeah, they just agreed to get along. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what she was telling um, Arena, basically, yeah, me and Winner had a conversation, and I just felt like since she's going to be around Sherelle, you know, Winner's going to be around Sherelle, I just might as well um, be cordial and get along. And then, you know, Winter, so she ain't look like the bitch. I was glad Winter did say, yeah, and it's not about being friends. You know, she piggybacked off that because y'all not going to sit here and try to make like y'all talking around me and all this other stuff. I'm right here. You understand? So Winter was like, no. It's fine. We're not here to be friends. We're just here to move forward. That's just basically what we, we, we're here for. You understand? Sherelle makes an interesting comment as well when she was like, um, yeah, I like to give people a chance to fuck me over, okay? And then turns to Joy, unlike you, and says to her, unlike you, yeah, I give people that chance. Like, what are you saying? Because Joy is saying that he fucked her over. Bitch, I gave you that chance. And you did not say, no, this other band member could not come back in. And you left them in anyway, so I dipped. That's basically what Joy said. So how did I give him a chance? I don't agree with the fact that, you know, Joy and Sherelle is not addressing this issue about Black. You know, and they have made it all about Arena and what Joy said to Arena. Arena twisted it around talking about shady bitch. Like, this shit is dumb. You understand? And y'all need to get to the real point. Get to the meat and potatoes of the situation and of the issue because it's not just because somebody calls the light a name. We're not in high school. It's from the fact that Joy feel that Black wronged her. You know, and y'all are not having that conversation and it's just getting annoying. And then the thing with the other girls coming down on Sherelle for being Winner's friend, you know, what are, what are we in high school? You can't be her friend because she said she don't like, and she was playing all in my face over social media and she was doing this and she was doing that so you shouldn't be her friend, y'all. Like, this is dumb, but I think that we still can exist in spaces with people we don't like. You know, I would never tell somebody, oh, well, why is she here? Why is you her friend and not mine? You know what she did to me and this and this and that. I'm not even going to give a bitch that. I'm going to let her be and let her be her friend because from what I understand and what I know how she crossed me or whatever she did to me, bitch, you better watch out because I know who she is and I don't want no pause. How about that? So you just let her be friends with her and you see what she gets in her friend. You know what I'm saying? And let that relationship play out. But to say it's about, oh, well, why is she with your friend? Why is she here? Why is she here? Treating Winter like she's some type of outcast to me is stupid on top of that. Clifton and Joy are meeting up with Carmen at the Carolina Kitchen in Northeast. Food is real good there. Y'all plan on going there, you know, um, probably sometime next week. I saw the food. I was like, ooh, okay. I've never been there. That's say I'm from D.C. and never been there. That's real bad. My husband was like, you never been? I was like that. <laughs> but I will be going there. Um, so anyway, they're at Carolina Kitchen and I'm just keep thinking about the food, girl. Yeah, look. <laughs> Girl, the food looks really, really good. Anyway, Carmen walks in. Carmen is um, their ex-castmate from the dating show, um, How to Love. That's what it is. He was a dating candidate of Clifton. So, basically, you know, she wanted to date Clifton at one point, you know, and he was her second pick is what, you know, Joy was saying. I was like, Ooh, okay, y'all. So, yeah, they're fast friends. They've made fast friends, okay? All three of them. I'm like, okay. So, I was accepting of that and everything. Um, yeah, because Joy, I was looking at her real hard to see if she felt any type of way about Carmen being in the vicinity, girl. <laughs> With her man, okay, girl, because y'all know I would do that. So, um, yeah, I was just like, damn, what is going to go on? And I was looking at Joy in her eyes, and she, it just looked like she was chilling, you know what I'm saying? 
But I got a little bit annoyed for you, Joy Girl, when she asked Clifton, yeah, how your back been doing? What? Like, what? Yeah, I don't, I didn't watch Ready to Love, so I don't really know much about the background of the storyline, everything that went on. But obviously his back was hurt, maybe through a, a, a football or some type of injury or something. Or, you know, but I don't know. But yeah, it was kind of weird for you to be, you know, coming up asking about my man's, you know, back and how is he feeling. And if you need anything, you know, I tried it and I got you. Girl, wait, did yeah, she say all of that, honey? I said, okay, but nobody's face seemed like it was an issue. It was a problem. Like, they must really be cool, girl. I cannot do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Even if we had never dated, even if I, it's just not no random bitch going to be asking him, is he okay? And just making sure that he's good. Oh, yeah, I drive with you. I, but, girl, we not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess now I'm acting like Sherelle. Y'all was up. Yeah, we can't do that with no other female. Who, who, but Joy is good with it. You know what I'm saying? She's good. You know, to each his own. Everybody do that shit different. <laughs> Okay, but, um, yeah, so Joy was just like, yeah, okay, that's nice, you know, that's so for you and stuff. I said, oh, okay. So, anyway, Joy is basically telling Carmen, who my arm still hurt. I gotta go to physical therapy, y'all, soon. But, anyway, um, let me not start talking, because I be talking about myself too fucking much on here, y'all. Let me finish the episode off the review. Um, so yeah, so Carmen is asking Joy, you know, about the world. You know, how everything been doing, how they get along and stuff. And Joy was like, yeah, but I just really don't care for Alicia like that. And I said, uh -huh, okay, yeah. I was thinking that them two like oil and water. I don't think they would miss. You know, Joy is a classy girl, okay? She's more of a classy girl. But Alicia, y'all, she just seemed a little bit, you know, I'm just going to say she a little bit hood. She a little bit hood, okay? She a little bit hood. You know, it just seems like like some type of laughing hyena with Ashley. That's exactly how I picture ooh, 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 all the fucking time. Especially when Joy was like, yeah, and they were talking, get this, y'all. I was like, oh, my God. Said that Alicia actually was laughing at Sherelle's wig. That Alicia basically was laughing. Her and Ashley was laughing at Sherelle's wig, like, real bad. Like, going in on her whole little look with that wig. Y'all so quick and Ashley, they so fucking corny, like... They have been giving the kids contracts. They've been drawing contracts up, okay? For the kids to do their chores, girl. You better go back in the day with that shit. You better look them kids in the there. Y'all get in there and do what the fuck y'all got to do. If you don't, you punish. That's just it. Ugh, like a contract. Like, it's just stupid. And people are going so far with stuff now. And I just don't agree with every single rule that people are putting out now. It's just dumb. You know what I'm saying? And you looking real corny at the end of that table, acting like you got some type of control. And you probably don't because the motherfuckers going to do what they want to do regardless of them kids. You understand? So, girl. So, y'all, Irene is having her photo shoot for her new wig line. And, um, yeah, I have... I don't know why I'm not impressed with a lot of wigs and stuff these days. It just seems like everybody be having the same, like, style, the same things going on. And, yeah, it, it looked nice on Ashley. Ashley's just nice. Um, that one that Joy had really looked nice on her. Um, but, yeah, I just, I think I was wanting to see maybe the, it's getting styled. I was really excited. You know, I wanted to see the wigs getting styled. I wanted to see, you know, put on different people and stuff. And, you know, they had the little runway, the girls coming down the runway. And I just wasn't impressed. You know what I'm saying? But... And probably because I didn't wear so many wigs, you know. Now I'm getting into actual colored wigs, like hot colors now, you know. So I just, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I really need to give me a human hair. This is a synthetic wig. And, um, yeah, I need to get into some human wigs. But I just, uh, I can just get this bitch out the pack, throw her on, throw her back. You know what I'm saying? Even my curly wigs, I don't got to do nothing to them. I was a hairdresser, y'all, for so long. You know what I'm saying? Um, Probably for like, like 15 years. And I stopped that and then went into school i was in school for um occupational therapy so i did that but you know i just i guess i'm tired of hair so i always like to still look nice and have my wigs and stuff on but that's why with synthetics because i don't have to do anything to them you know i just take her off the pack and she's ready to go you know what i'm saying she's already ready to go and yeah she got the curl there she got the bend there whatever it's supposed to be given it's gonna give every fucking single time and i don't gotta use no high curl and all that other shit so i keep saying i'm gonna get in her human hair wig and i don't but um maybe sooner or later i will Anyway, they're there, and um, Arena and Ashley and Joy are standing around talking, and Arena's like, yeah, 
Um, and did y'all see how uh, Sherelle talking about the little event that actually had? Did y'all see how Sherelle was trying to act like, oh, you always in everybody's business. You need to stay out of everybody's business and that. And I actually going to say, yeah, and I just need you to stay the fuck out of it. Girl, who the... Oh, my God. First of all, the pointing for one. Second of all, stay the fuck out of it. Telling me what to do. Then third of all, cussing at me, towards me. Like, girl, who... Okay, anyway, y'all, I, I just know that Arena girl, you can take it, and I can't, because that was a lie, and yeah, Arena, she just gracefully went over it, and didn't even entertain it, girl, <laughs> Arena real good, honey, um, yeah, she was like, I just know that I take up for my friends, and I always want to have my friends back, that's just how I am, you know, so, they ended the little segment with that, but girl, Ashley, she do too much, you know, and leave it down in the comments if y'all be saying, girl, Ashley do way too much, like way too much sometimes, and I cannot even waste, because all these little slight digs that she keep giving a rainer, yeah, I cannot even wait, because they showed it, and Carlos already talked about it and said something about it, <laughs> and I saw a little clip somewhere, it might be in the beginning of the um, series or whatever, but, um, yeah, Arena and Ashley get into it, and I cannot wait for all of the things, honey, because, yeah, Ashley be doing too much, and I know that Arena got tired of it, you know what I'm saying? We can only turn the other cheek for so long, bitch. <laughs> anyway, y'all, moving on. So, y'all, Jamie, Lil Jamie Quick, and Antonio are walking in Southeast D.C., okay? A very high crime area. You know, the biggest high crime area in the entire city, Southeast, okay? It's not Southeast. That's what it says on the signs, okay? But it's Southeast, okay? South. <laughs> the South Side, that's what it is. Huh? So, yeah, they get rough and rugged over there. And, um, yeah, as soon as they step out the damn truck, it's blood on the ground. That's how they get down over there. And, um, yeah, you don't really want to be going over there around in those parts if you don't know anybody or if the, your family is not there or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother lives in Southeast, but it's a, like, decent area of Southeast, but, like, right around the corner, they get down, okay? And that's on Bennett Road, okay, honey? You don't want to just be walking around there if you don't know nobody, okay? Bennett Road, Simple City, and all that shit is around the corner, okay? So, yeah, you got to be careful. You just don't really want to be around in parts if you don't know nobody. But, um, anyway, and they're walking in this area. Yeah, so they're just telling them, you know, just, you don't have to make bad choices like we did. They got caught up in some things, um, when they were younger. And then Jamie starts talking to, um, Antonio about the things that he did when he was younger. I was running with shooting my boys and, you know, all this other stuff and you can make better decisions. Jamie was like, yeah, I want to brag on my son real quick, okay? Because my son, little Jamie, has a job now and he works as an assistant for, kids that can't go to regular schools you know they have problems and they just can't go to regular schools because basically they're you know they're bad you know bad kids meaning not bad you're bad you're a bad person no kids who got problems and need help because they have um behavioral problems you know what i'm saying that's where a lot of the stuff stem from behavioral problems maybe their mom was on crack maybe you know they didn't have their mother maybe um their father beat on their mother maybe body and their family touched them stuff stuff like that you know what i'm saying so people end up having behavioral problems after these type of things and issues go on in their household. I know because my mother used to work with um, kids like this who had these type of issues. So she used to teach special education. So this is the type of school that Jamie probably worked at, like more of a special school for kids like this. Um, so yeah, y'all, he was saying that he went there to the school one day and he was noticing that the little boys, they had hoodies on but no coat. And Jamie was like, yeah, here it is. I got this big old coat and I'm warm. And it just really bothered me. And I couldn't go on saying them, you know, not having their coat. He ended up conducting a coat drive, you know. So that's good that Jamie is running his coat drive. And I'm so proud of him. Like, really extremely proud of him. And he looks better in the face. Like, he's gotten it together. Like, he has more of a personality and more self-esteem. And he's on a positive path. Like, I'm so glad for him. And that's all we want for our black man is to rise up and do what they got to do for themselves and be somebody and something in life. I'm so proud of Jamie and kudos to them. Kudos to the Tyler family, okay? So y'all, Sherelle and Black has this podcast that they've been doing for a number of years. It's called Friends Who Smash. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Friends Who Smash. That's what it's called. And I'm... What? They look so damn stupid when they, y'all invited Joy and this guy, Black friend, to basically talk about, you know, how they survived a divorce 
And they really thinking these motherfuckers could be dating. Like, what are y'all thinking? Like, I just didn't see any, you know, attraction that they had for each other. You didn't see any flirting going on, you know. I mean, he did ask Winner, you know, um, how do you feel you're a better person after your divorce? I guess that was something to make somebody think that somebody would be trying to maybe potentially date them or something. Like, I don't know, but I just didn't see anything there where they would like each other and would want to go out on the date. So y'all, once you time when she was 19 that um, it was hard for her to get over her divorce because um, the guy had created infidelity on her. You know, he had cheated on her, so it was hard to get over the divorce because of all of that. The second time she got married and then got divorced, it wasn't so hard because, you know, it was with that damn stupid man the last one she was with and he was still living in the basement of his mother's house and he was just some type of calm man and all this stuff and she was wondering like after the divorce she was like okay how did i get here that's what she was wondering you know so it wasn't as hard the guy was saying when he got divorced he just stayed to himself for a whole year because he was, he's not from D.C. So she really was the only person he had there, his ex-wife. And the daughter was the only people he had there. So he just retreated and didn't, like, really be around nobody. So, y'all, it's the day of a rainous event. And, yeah, Joy calls her saying she's going to be sick so she can't make it. And, um, Joy, you can't keep doing this. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you keep calling out for work, girl. And sooner or later, Carlos going to call you and be like, you know what? Well, what you trying to do, girl? What you want to do? Because I'm about to give you a written warning because you keep calling out. Girl, Joy, you didn't call out for Sherelle's costume event. You didn't come to that, okay? You didn't tell Ashley at Arena's event just now that, you know, you wasn't coming to um, Winter's Romancipation event. You're not coming to that. That's what you told her. We just saw that. And then just now, you just told Arena, oh, I'm sick. Me and my husband are sick, and I can't come. So you keep calling out and canceling all these type of events, bitch. I don't want to be here either. How about that? She's tired of these females being catty, and I am too. Like, really, this is what's going on, and she's not trying to be around for any of the things, you know, but you can't keep doing it, girl, because you signed a contract, and you need to be here to film with these ladies so we can see all of the things. You can't be sitting up there hiding. This is what you signed up for, and I know sooner or later, Carlos going to say something to you because he said something to Desi because Desi was doing the shit, and everybody saw it and peeped it and told Carlos. They kept saying all this shit all over line, and Carlos got went to it. You know what I'm saying? That they were tired of it because Destiny was doing the exact same thing on Huntsville. You know what I'm saying? So sooner or later, he going to catch what you're doing, girl, and your ass going to be in trouble. So you need to come to these events and go ahead and try to be in a room with these ladies to do what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? This is what you're on reality TV for. You know what I'm saying? You cannot run when you don't feel like being bothered. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm going to say about that issue. But, Joy, you better get in line, girl, if you want your chat. Because sooner or later, just like Carlos told Destiny, yeah, you got one more game. Okay, I'm going to give you this season, but we want to see what's going on in your life with you. Okay, and you can't keep on not doing this thing and not doing this thing because you're bothered and you don't feel like being bothered. So, y'all, it's the day of Irena's wig launch, and she pulls Sherelle to the side. She just lets Sherelle know, you know, um, yeah, I just wanted to have a conversation with you because every time um, we get together, it starts becoming an argument, and it sets you off because of the shady comment and everything. And, yeah, off the right show, it's like, yeah, it does set me off. It does. It sets me off. Bitch, calm down. Then she all in there confessional. Yeah, and I just want to know who she think can call somebody husband shady without them getting mad or going on her. She know if I call Jamie shady, she'd be the first one to say something to me. Girl, like, I think she grabbing for a storyline, too. We have to believe these things, y'all. When people have these petty-ass reasons to be this damn high, but you just putting 20 on 10, and it is not that serious. It's just not. This is stupid, and I just can't believe she getting this damn mad because somebody called her husband shady. Like, this is just way too much. And like I said, she been 20 on 10, and she need to stop. Anyway, y'all, that is all for this video. I will see you, ladies and gents, later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? We have fun over here. We slay over here, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. Press that red button, and you will not be disappointed, okay, sis? I will see you, ladies and gents, later. Bye.